hello hello and welcome back to my channel my name is Charmaine if this is your first time visiting thanks so much for stopping by and this is not your first time thank you so much for supporting me and watching my videos and commenting and subscribing and liking and sharing thank you so much I appreciate you I appreciate you so much today we are going to be doing this 20 panel blanket sublimation you guys this is not my first time doing this I've done a couple of these last Christmas and this one I'm going to do for my grandmother. Um, this is my first time doing a video on this because the last time I was doing it, I did it for a client. And I did not want to use their pictures on YouTube. So this one I'm doing for my grandmother. So these are my pictures. So everything's going to be okay. First of all, let me show y'all my, my business card. I do have a video on showing you how to make your own business card through Canva. But check out my Etsy page, Charming Gal Boutique. My children Etsy page, Array of Sunshine 2020. My Amazon, yes, I am an author. I also write books, so I'm on Amazon, Charmaine Galloway. YouTube, of course, Charmaine Galloway. Instagram, Miss Charming Gal. TikTok, Charming Gal. I love doing little tiny short videos on Instagram. I mean, I'm sorry, on TikTok, showing you how to do different things in really small snippets, okay? So check those videos out. They're really fun. Um, Facebook, Charming Gal Boutique. My Facebook group, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket, okay? Um... <coughs> um this is a couple days after christmas so this um this um gift is kind of late but i've been sick for a couple days so i'm gonna go ahead and get it out now um if you have not followed me if you have not been following me yes i do all things crafting y'all i have my embroidery machine over here i have a serger i also have a sewing machine i have the um cricket you can see behind that chair, the Cricut, the Cricut Maker. I have the um, sublimation machines, printing. I have the sublimation printing machines. I have the Epson um, sublimation machines that I converted to sublimation. I also have this big guy over here, and this is the one I'm going to be using today, okay? We're going to be using that one today. I also do embroidery. If you see, I showed you the first one already. My, my six needle machine is over here. Sorry if I'm... Making you dizzy. Six six needle machine is right here. And over here is my one needle machines, okay? So I do it all. Also show you how to um I also sublimate in um the mug press right here and then the um the tumbler press. Also sublimate in convection oven. Okay, so all these all these machines that I have, I have videos on how to use all of them. Okay, so check out my videos. If you want to see anything new, let me know and I can get it out for you, okay? But today we are going to be sublimating on this 20, this 20 panto. Today we're going to be sublimating on this 20 panel blanket for my grandmother. Okay, so let's go over here to the printer. Okay, here's all the pictures I have, okay? So, um, what I do is, I basically, for this machine right here, which is the Epson se 570 which prints out by 24 width um width okay and then you can make it as long as you want to but the, the width is 24 inches wide okay um i i got this printer from um dtgweb.com so you can check them out okay um i love it i have not used this in over six months y'all because i i'm not gonna lie i do sometimes get scared i don't know why i get scared because this is the big old monster um because i've been <laughs> i always use these machines because i'm just using i usually do like one print at a time so i usually use these machines but since i'm using doing all these pictures 20 pictures i'm gonna hit use this machine for today okay so i haven't used it in a long time so hopefully it works well um i basically turned it on and then it basically did a print cleaning so it says it's ready for me to go Okay, each picture I have here is um, 7.8 by 10.2, okay? And what I did was, some of these pictures, like right here, you see, like that's, that's my mother when she was younger, um, her siblings and her mom and her dad. Um, I basically, her, her head is cut off almost on this picture, so basically I put a border around this picture, okay? So I could be able to put this inside the box on the um, on the blanket, so and her head won't get cut off in the picture. Okay, so her whole face would be on that picture. So if you see it, some of these I put black borders around them because I'm gonna make sure like his head is cut off too. So I wanna make sure I have enough so his face would be on there and it won't be on the black part of the um blanket. Okay, so you'll see that I added. And only way how only way, the way I added these boxes basically you go here, you go to like the shape right here, you click on shapes, 
you make you a shape. I don't have enough room to make it because I have all these pictures on here. You make a shape and then you basically go in here and then you color it black. Okay. Then, there you go. Do you have it? Then you also put the red, the lining, black also. Click on that and make it black. Okay. Well, it's still red, but you know what I'm saying. Make it black. And then you just basically put the picture on top of there and then you group it. Okay. I am using Silhouette Studio, the business addiction, but you can use Silhouette Studio to print big free for free okay but i'm i'm paying for mine but you got you can also you can always get silhouette studio online and just use it for free so you can be able to print big when you sublimate okay you don't have to use a have a cameo to use silhouette design space okay oh, i love silhouette this is what i use when i was when i sublimate on all of my um items okay i'm gonna just delete that so now you know how to put the background and back of the pictures so just in case you have something that's gonna be cut off it won't get cut off so see right here so she won't get cut off. I put the border behind there so I can be able to have that mushroom space to, to um, move around. So I won't have that picture cut up, cut off. Okay. So the next thing you need to do is, like I said, each picture on here is um, eight, is 7.8 by 10.2. Okay. And I go over here and I put in the width that I want. So like I said, the printer prints out 24 width, but I'm going to go ahead and put 22. Okay. And then the height, I'm going to put 36. So right here is 22 by 36. Okay. Got that. Only thing you got to use is the paper source. You go right here to the paper source right here. Click on that. And then you make sure you have that together. The size that you want it in. Okay. Mine's on orientation. Okay. So then I go to file. And then I go to print setup. Okay. Then I make sure that my printer is, is on here. So yes, that's the right printer I'm going to be using right here. I push okay. And then also 24 by 24. Um, that should work. But let me check. Cause I because I already put that in my computer. I set had to set that up as 24 by 24 because my printer is set by 25, 24 by 24. Oh, but I wanted to make it 36 inches wide. So I'm just about to change this. Let's man let's manage it. Let's go here to height to make it 36. Okay. 36 and then I'm gonna go ahead and title it and I push okay so now it's 24 by 36 inches I just changed it hopefully that works I hope it prints out right sometimes it might not work okay so I changed that that should work hopefully it works fine we're gonna see it in a minute if it doesn't so then I go to print and with this machine you do not have to um vertical you don't have to flip it because it's a sublimation machine, so you do not have to um, vertical flip it. But if you use these machines up here, you do have to um, flip them, okay? Since this is already, uh, this is a real sublimation machine, you do not have to flip it. Okay, they all the pictures are all on here. So everything should be fine. If not, we're going to see. Why is this in here like this? Um. Okay. It's in there, so let's go ahead and print it, and let's see what it's going to do. Okay, so we have the printer here. That's the right printer we have. Then we're going to go ahead to, um, we do not want to flip it, because it's um, it's already flipped in the, in the printer. And then we go ahead and push print. And it's going to be a lot of paper, y'all. I hope it prints out right. And then make sure you have it on general on purpose textile, because we are using cloth. When you're using cloth, you use textile. But if you're using rigid, if you're using like hard surface, like mugs or something like that, you use rigid, okay? Things that you cannot bend, okay? But right now, with general purpose textile. Because I have not used this in a long time. I did, when it did start off and it did. We went ahead and did a clip print cleaning. So I'm gonna go lay, I think this takes a while for it to start off. So I'm gonna go ahead and let it start off. And then when it started printing out, I'm gonna come right back to you. Okay, let me show y'all something real quick. I'm showing you this because I make mistakes just like everybody else do, and I do not want to sugarcoat anything. So um, I did this before. I basically put the my paper size I have in here is the short roll. I don't have the big roll in here, so that means it's, I think it's like 22 inches wide. So it's not instead of it being 22, it's 20. Instead of being 24, it's 22. So I only got enough pictures for some of the pictures that go on here. So I'm just showing you that now that I did not. Um, print it right but it's still okay because I have pictures on here that I want to still I can still use these pictures so I probably only got like three pictures on here instead of all six pictures okay so let me show y'all so I need to print these out right here because I have the wrong size paper on here I put the wrong setting on here so I'm gonna change it I always had that problem okay so we'll figure it out 
after I print this out, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna do it again. But like I said, I usually don't use this machine that often. So as you see, my paper is short. I don't have the, the long paper in there. I just have this length paper in here. So I do have another roll that's longer, but I just don't have it. So I think I only have the 22 instead of the 24 inches in here. So I'm gonna change that source and make it 22. So this came out really nice. I see how it cuts it. It cuts the paper for you, y'all. Look at that. It cuts the paper for you. There you go. Look at that. I love this machine. Okay. So I just hopefully I have this right. The size is gonna fit. It looks kind of big. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take it to the machine and just see if it's the right size before I print any more out. Okay. I'm gonna take it over to my print my um. Go ahead and take it over to my um heat press and, and make sure it's the right size. I'm gonna cut them out. Okay, be right back. Let me show y'all what I need to do, okay? Do it right. Go to file. You go to print page setup. And you put it at the right size. <laughs> you put the right size paper in there, y'all. Duh, Charmaine. So basically what I did was, I thought I had this paper in here, the 24 by 36. So that's what it was 20 24 by 36 but no i need to put it in 17 by 24 paper okay and then i push okay and then it should work so i'm gonna go ahead and put um some more pictures up here and basically scoot, scoot these over put these over here we're gonna pray that this is gonna work right because we have to make sure everything is just right <clears throat> Let's make sure that all the things is right. The size and measurements and everything is correct or it's not gonna work, okay? Okay, I'm gonna put that in here like this. And I'm gonna also change this paper to make this 17 by 24. So 17 by 24. Sorry, I don't have my tripod with me. So I just change it to 17 by 24. Let's see if we can put four pictures on here. We probably can. 17 by 24. Okay, so that should work, y'all. We're gonna see. Let's make sure I got file. Um, print page set up. 17 by 24. It matches 17 by 24, right? And I have a printer in there. Push OK. I'm gonna go ahead and push file print. And let's see if it's in, in this, this next diagram will show you if it's in the cut area. So let's make sure that this is in the area that it's gonna be printing out, I'm sorry. So let's see, this is in, over here, that's in there. And that's in there, the that's gonna be in there, y'all. <laughs> Hope we're in the money. See how the paper is in, it's on the paper. So hopefully this will work. That's my family. Okay, let's see. Is that in there? Is in there? Okay, let's go. Guess what, y'all? It worked. <laughs> Am I crazy? But I'm so crazy, y'all. I just be on these videos, and every time I get in a video, I mess up. But look, I had it written on the wall already how to set everything up. Set, orientation, landscape. Oh, I spelled landscape wrong, so look, don't look at my spelling. But it says, do not flip, and then it says 24 by 17 paper size does i mean if i would just follow my own rules i would be able to make these things the correct way the first time instead of wasting paper so yes um i already read on the wall let me know what i need to do so next time i know to set the paper at 17 by 24 because that's the paper size i have in here and then when i change the paper i put it in 24 by whatever okay um it can go farther than 24 inches okay because we can go as long as we want to but this 17 by 24 is going to work for me Make sure that's 17 by 24 if that's the paper that you're using. And make sure that you, you push print, set up, and everything is matching, okay? If I would have followed my own rules from the wall, I would have been had the first time the correct time. But no, I'm not going to do this video over. I'm showing you my mistakes. Just make sure you have the right size paper and inside your um inside your printer and inside your um your computer and your setup, okay? And you can get it done correctly instead of waste of paper like I just did twice, okay?
and I have a video on how to do this, <laughs> and I should have, and I, my thing was, I can go back and look up and watch my own video like I always do when I do different things. I always go back and watch my videos, but I didn't because I was just trying to get on this video and get it done with, but now I will next time learn how not to waste paper. Okay, so, um, okay, y'all, it's been a rough road. I don't have to tell y'all this, but I am going to tell you this. Um, basically, I have to change my paper in my, um, print, in my, in sublimation machine printer and it's not printing out anymore so i had to go to my p i had to go ahead and use my epson 7710 7720 to print out these um the rest of the pictures so i used the 13 by 19 paper and i was able to put two pictures on one um page which is i used the 13 by 19 paper which is the largest paper you can use for the um 7720 or 7710 epson printer okay so yeah so I got to figure out how to um, fix the other printer. Like I said, it was working well until I had to change the paper. I cut it off, cut it back on, and it's still not printing out. So I figured that out later. I got to get this blanket done because it's like after midnight and I'm tired. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and measure this so I can let y'all know what size this is. So basically, it's like an 8 by 10. So what I did was I printed the pictures. Um, I think it was like just a little bit under 8. So it's like... 7.8 so I use 7.8 by 10.2 okay that's what I use that's what I use to measure it okay and then I, all, the only thing you gotta do now is just use the lint roller and get all the um particles off the um blanket I'm gonna probably do two pictures at a time okay two pictures at a time and you could use tape or you could use spray I'm gonna use the um heat press tape okay I'm gonna use the tape oh shoot always oh, something I just lost my tape my tape it just went on the road now I'm tired so hopefully I can get this out the way I'm gonna do a couple pictures to show y'all how, how I do it and then after that I'm just gonna do it and then I'll show you all the results okay I'm still not feeling well um hope I have enough tape to use I'm, but I, like I said, you can also use a spray. I used to use the 505 spray. I have some of that, but I'm going to go ahead and use the tape because I don't want to have all them fumes. I don't want to inhale all these fumes because I've, I've been sick. So here's one picture. The first picture I'm going to use, this is my grandmother and her kids. And I'm going to go ahead and, um, I'm going to go ahead and heat press the wrinkles out of this, the first couple of them. I'm going to use my Teflon sheet just because I don't want the, the pictures to burn. Oh, this is nasty. Maybe I'm not going to use the Teflon sheet because it's dirty. I got to clean that off. I have a couple. I, mean, I got some more Teflon sheets. I'll just use one of these. I got a couple of them. I'm going to use this because I don't want to burn because I have a lot. You know, basically it's going to overlap. The heat press is going to overlap because of the um the boxes. I should have my paper, my paper tore already, but I don't. So I'm going to go ahead and pre press this real quick. So just make sure everything is measured right. Make sure it's even. Make sure it's straight. Especially if you're going to be selling these. These are really nice blankets. Nice and comfy. This one is um, medium size. Not too thick, but it's perfect. Okay? Like I said, I put the border around there just so I can have, um, so the picture won't be cut off into the um, blank, into the blanket. So now, so I made it black because the blanket is black, of course. Okay. This one is going to be too small, but I don't care. I'm not going to be frustrated onto this blanket here. So this one right here will show a little white in the background, but it's going to be okay. Everything is not perfect. Everything can't be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cover this up. Put some paper, I mean, some tough line paper on top of it and heat it for 60 seconds. 400 degrees to 60 seconds. Make sure everything is straight. And there we go. I have 20 pictures to do, y'all. <laughs> this is going to be a long, 
process. I'm gonna show y'all these two first, the first two pictures, and then I'm gonna go ahead and um keep on going. I'm gonna show y'all as I go. Please like this video. Like I said, I know it's a lot of. Hope y'all not confused about what's going on. Like I said, my my um I had the wrong size paper in it and the machine at the first time, but everything worked out. But then my paper I had to change my paper, and that was not working. So I went to my printers that I always use. <laughs> And they don't ever fail me. I mean, I have problems sometimes after the other printers, but you always go check out YouTube and find a video to watch and figure it out. I did go to a video on YouTube trying to figure out how to change the paper. I, the paper changed, everything worked out, but it's just still not going to print. So, I don't know. Like I said, I don't have to tell y'all these things, but I'm not perfect. And I'll show y'all my mistakes and the things that I go through, too. So, you don't think like, oh, Charmaine gets everything done and everything. No, I don't. I have tr I have problems too when I do things. Okay, y'all ready? Beautiful. Yes, I do have white in it, but it's okay. Oh no, the tape's gonna show. Oh, look, it seemed like the tape was showing a little bit. I think I am gonna be using um. I think I want to use the um. This tape is it's, oh it's, it's it's fading away. Like the little tape marks is on the blanket. It's usually the, the tape marks don't never show. And this pic, this picture is already dark, so just just be mindful of that. And when I show this picture to you, it's kind of it's, it's, it was it was um, pre printed, like it's an old picture, so it had to get restored. So that's why it looks so dark. So it's dark on this blanket also too. So old old pictures pictures over fifty years old. Let roll it real quick. And try to lint roll it the direction of the, the fabric. How is it going? Because it's kind of silky, kind of silky. Okay. And that tape is going to be showing. Uh, it don't matter. I mean, you can't really tell. So this picture is going to be kind of faded. I don't really care about that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and print it. I'm going to put one piece of tape on there this time. Just a little piece. So it won't um, show up. This is a nice picture. Go ahead and put this down. I didn't heat press it. I don't care. So it's going to be okay. I'm not going to be worried. I'm tired. <laughs> it's a gift to my grandmother. She's going to appreciate it no matter what. But like I said, to do it the correct way, just make sure you heat press the um, wrinkles out of the um, garment. But I don't want to put too much heat on this blanket anyway, because it's really kind of, I want to call it like, it's kind of, it's, it's a lot of prints and stuff. When you print it, I mean, when I heat press it, it's kind of showing a little. Dentations. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on here. I'll go ahead and heat it for 60 seconds. I got a medium pressure. I'm trying to step on my blanket. I'm gonna do these last two. I'm gonna keep on going and I'll come back and show you all the results after I get a couple more done. Cause it's the same thing, y'all. Just make sure y'all, your pictures are measured right. I use, like I said, 7.8 by 10.2 for this blanket. These had the frills on it, so every blanket is different. So just measure it the way you need to measure it and go from there. It's just basically getting the right measurement and um, make sure your heat press is um, right, heat it right, and make sure you have enough pressure, okay? That's all you gotta do. And it should turn out perfect for you. Excuse my background. I have like my little tutu in the back. <laughs> my mannequin. It's a mess over there. And I did, the reason why that tutu is up there because it's full of glitter. But I can't put it in the container with the other clothes because glitter get everywhere. So I just got to hang it up on the wall. Nowhere else to put it. So that's why it's there. <laughs> I'm not just like here. Every time I push this, um, Pushes in this blanket is move is shifting. Oh, nice! 
and yeah, this blanket keeps moving. So yeah, it's got a little temptation right here because of the blanket. I'm still getting a lot of um. This is the paper from the that one machine that I used, the big machine. And see how much ink is still on there, y'all. All that ink is still on there. And this is the this is the um printer from my Epson 7710. Look at these pictures compared to that. Like the ink do not like it don't ever move off the um the other printer. But this is the from the P um Epson 7710 and 7720. That is crazy how that works. Let me show y'all how these pictures look. I'm sorry, I can't put give you a close up of how they look. They don't look this this is kind of faded. It's just the way the, the picture is. It still looks good. This camera doesn't do too much justice of it, but it looks good still. It looks kind of... This one looks really bright. Oh, shoot. I burned this picture, y'all. So, um, when you... I just burnt this one. I, it was covered up. I don't understand how it burned, but... Maybe I didn't cover it up. <laughs> I don't care, y'all. I'm just like, uh, whatever. So be careful. I'm going to try to do another one and see what happened, why this happened. I'm pretty sure I didn't have this paper on top of it. That's probably what I just had the paper on the cover in this part. I didn't have the, cover, the paper cover in this picture. So like I said, this is, I just want to do a video. I, this is what happens because in my last blanket I did, I did not burn any pictures. The pictures came out great, okay? But this one, I just burnt that one, so... I know next time to make sure I cover it all with the paper. So we'll see how that works. Okay. Well, people, I'm going to go ahead and go and do some more pictures and I'll be back to show you the results. Just a few quick pointers. Um, make sure when you do heat it up, do not heat the, the picture over again. Like this right here. See how I have this is um, hanging off the heat press. Um, make sure you keep the picture off the heat press. Okay. Because it will burn. I haven't burned anymore. Everything looks good. Um, and also, I do have to make the pictures a little bit bigger. Probably one more inch, a half an inch more wider and longer width and length. So, um, next time I do this, I will make it bigger. The picture a little bit bigger. As you can see, I have white in my pictures. And like I said, I did this before last year for Christmas and I didn't have this problem. So, I will just, because I'm doing a video, I always mess up. So, that's what I do. But this is a gift to my grandmother. She'll still appreciate it. Um, <clears throat> but make sure you make the pictures bigger and make sure you do not um, heat over the picture twice because you will burn it. These pictures look good. Um, everything looks nice. I'm going to show you the results. And if it only have four more to go after these two, after these last four to go, and then I'll be back to show you the end results. Okay, here's the result of the blanket. It turned out pretty well, if I do say so myself. <laughs> So a couple of the pictures are dark because that's the picture. The pictures were dark. It wasn't the um, machine. It was the pictures. Okay. So that is it, y'all. Please subscribe, like, and share this video if you think this will be helpful to someone. I'll let you know the real. So if you see mistakes, I'll show you all my mistakes so you can not make the same mistakes I've made. Okay. So this is a 20 panto blanket. Very nice and medium-sized blanket. Um, Really nice. So if you have any questions, please leave them below. Until next time, be blessed.